Welcome to the video guys, today we're going to be looking at how to create successful email campaigns using MailChimp. So to get started we're going to be looking at one of our clients called Grandmaster Angelo. He is a martial arts expert and he sells digital and physical DVDs, training DVDs on his website. Uh, we set up his website back in September um, after he was, his sales were going right, right down. Um, and he's gone from strength to strength since um, basically let's just show you up his reports here so we launched his website say mid 19th of September we had done a launch campaign which you can see this was his sales from that one day campaign uh, and then sales kind of averaged out up until we got up to Halloween where we done a 25% off one day only campaign and so that was his sales for just one day from digital downloads uh, and then obviously had a few more random days a couple of little spikes and then we went up to obviously the Black Friday Cyber Monday weekend so that that worked out quite well um, and now obviously it's, it's going to stagnate until we get to Christmas where we do another big email promotion now all of these points here have only been built basically through MailChimp email campaigns so it is effective it does work we've not really done any social media advertising so this just proves that email campaign if done right can still work so what I'm going to do with you today guys is we're going to have a quick run through and I'm going to show you how to create a campaign using MailChimp MailChimp for those of you who don't know is free to sign up uh, so get yourselves over there and sign up now we're going to use Angelo's account to create one um, so I'm going to show you the email campaign that we sent out for the Black Friday sale so this is what the email looked like so this email exactly here generated uh, all of this money here basically we offered a 25% off over the Black Friday weekend and it's just a simple email and I'm going to show you how to create that now the assets for this one this exact one will be in the description um, I'll put a link down to the Photoshop PSD file so those of you can download it for free and then edit it slightly um, so you can create very very similar campaigns um, we do this all of these campaigns as campaigns are very similar if we go to the Cyber Monday you'll see it's of a similar layout Kind of one image, the logo, the social media links, uh, and we basically follow this stuff, all of his styles, except from we do ones for his YouTube channel as well. Um, but even that's a similar style. So yeah, we're gonna get ahead. We're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna create a campaign. So let's go create campaign over here. And then you're gonna want to go regular campaign. Like I said before, Mailchimp's free to sign up, and uh, yeah, you, you don't have to pay anything at all, and it gives you all the features that you need. Um, now, Angelo, you might be thinking he was able to generate this amount of sales because he's got a lot of subscribers. He really hasn't. Um, I know most of you will have a list of contacts at least if you if you're running a business startup. So, so that would probably be equate to probably a hundred plus contacts. We took all of Angelo's. Uh, email customers from from his old 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 website um, he never emailed them before September it's a when we launched his new website that's when we started email marketing and he gave me a list of about 500 550 customers that's that's gone a little bit up now to 600 and this is also from his subscribers directly from his website um, which, which when they click their first tips if any of you guys have a website and you want something like this as well give us a shout we can definitely do something like that but yeah just from people filling in their email address there that's equated to around 139 subscribers in about two months so that that's that's pretty damn good um, so yeah, so what you're going to want to obviously do is to sign up to Mailchimp for free. Enter your email, your email list uh, into your into your Mailchimp account. So your first names, your last names, really, it's quite important. And then their email address. Um, obviously, make sure you've got permission to add them. And then yeah, you want obviously we're going to want to click on the regular campaign. You're going to want to choose your list. So we'll choose website customers. Entire list will do for now. Click next. And then we're going to call this test campaign. This could be, this is just for internal use, this could be Black Friday, 25% off, something like that. Now your email subject, this is very important, you want to write a fantastic email subject. Just think about how many, how many emails people get a day, it's got to stand out, but it's got to be simple and not look too spammy. So we're just going to go with something nice and simple, we'll go for 25% um, off today only. And then that will stand out pretty well, as is in bold. It's, you're, you're giving them a deal. You're basically giving your subscribers a deal. They're going to check that out at least to so see what you're offering 25% off on. Whether they buy or not is irrelevant. Um, obviously, your from name will be your company name. Uh, if you're a restaurant, it will obviously be a restaurant name. Uh, other examples, Nike, Tesco, that kind of thing will be your name. Your email address will obviously be your from email address. Um, I'll go into more about your, your email address domain verifications in a minute so yeah leave all these the, these settings the same as ours this is what we use you can go into personalizing the to field um, so what this will do is is when someone has, does an email let's get up 
the example it might you might have some text that say two and then their name uh, rather than two all my subscribers or two customers or just hello and then into your sales pattern you might want to put two and then you can personalize the name field so it says two Gary two John two Jack two Sandra etc um, but we don't use that because we just use images purely so there's not much text that goes into it um, yeah you want to keep the options exactly the same as that and then you're going to want to go to next then you're going to want to go to one column under basic and this is where you can start designing your email so we're going to want to get rid of this block here and we're going to going to go browse and we're going to find the logo so just have yourselves a logo um, we've got a black one and a white one here depending on obviously uh, whether we're going to go with a black background or a white background now we're going to recreate this black friday one so we're going to want to go with a black background so we need the logo in white so you're obviously going to you can drag the photo over we've obviously got the logo already here so we're just going to select it and that will add the logo in there and we want to create the body so we're going to drag an image block over to here you're going to want to click browse Again, same thing, drag, you'll either drag the image over or, or we'll obviously click it because we've got it here. And save and close, brilliant stuff. So now what you're going to want to do is go to the design and we're going to basically just change the background color completely to black everywhere we can see. So let's just change this all very nice and quickly. Let's copy the code, and save, pre-header, shows that as well, and the header body and of course the footer as well perfect stuff so now you can see we've got a nice black background it's starting it's pretty much it just took that it was that quick what was that 30 seconds under a minute and we basically created a nice that's that's a pretty fair looking email campaign already but obviously we're going to make it a little bit better so let's just change up here you're going to want to put your basically your subject line um, but you, this can be a tiny little bit longer but still keep it around the same length so we had 25% off uh, Black Friday whoops Black Friday sale that will do nicely uh, you can just leave that up there as well and then if we go over to style we will just go white over here just to make sure that text stands out nicely and uh, if we go to the pre-header we will also change the text color to white as well and the links to white oops white as well so that stands out nicely brilliant stuff next thing we're going to want to do is you're going to want to link up your logo so click on the image click link and then web address this can obviously be changed to an email address anchor links or even a file link but we're just going to take it to a web address so we're going to put in here gmangelo.com insert the link so if anyone clicks on this logo when they get their email it basically take them to gmangelo.com uh, now you want to, want, to, want to click on your image now obviously this is going to link off depending on what it is so for us it's black friday sale so we're going to take them to the shop so we're just going to go ahead and grab the shop link here which we copy and paste and that's gmangelo.com slash shop and we're going to want to insert that there and that is as simple as that now if you obviously if you do if you don't do social media which obviously you should be doing um but if you don't do it obviously just just click click that and delete uh delete the social media tab but what i generally go for for styles is you're going to want to click on that you're going to want to go to style uh, sorry settings and then you're going to want to click this one here to make the icons much larger now you have a few styles um generally i find either this one that or that works best i don't I generally never use this um now obviously we're going with the white and blacks so that one works but generally i do go for this one just where it shows the icons nice and clean but we'll go for this for this that this just matches out with the black friday text and we're going to want to go over to back to content and then we're just going to basically want to put the links in so let's just say we're, we only do facebook um and then let's say we do uh twitter and we'll do YouTube as Angelo has a YouTube channel as well and of course we will link just the website in there so the website link obviously we'll put the website link in you could obviously put your put your YouTube link in there um, obviously your Facebook link as well uh, your sorry your Twitter link and your Facebook link and then yep save and close and that's your that's your whole footer for your social media done now for this here unless you've got a pro account you can't remove this this is part of their anti-spot anti-spam um law so they have to put this in so obviously your your customers and subscribers can see where the emails come from what your registered address is things like that and there's a legal requirement to be able to unsubscribe from it um so you have to keep this in but what i do is generally i click on it and you're going to want to go to style 
and just make it nine point just to make it as small as possible change the light line height to slight um, and then yeah you can obviously change the color but the color kind of blends in kind of that's that, that, that's good enough for us and I want to save and close now go to monkey rewards this will basically this icon doesn't show up here but this whatever icon you choose here this will show here once the email goes out um, so for us we're going to choose something that, that kind of ties in with the color scheme so we'll go for this one here um, obviously if you want to have it as small as possible that one will do um, some people go for this but I try not to make, make this icon stand out um, so save and close uh, and then yeah you are basically done so once you've done that you're now going to want to go to next and that obviously just shows you the list that your customers are going to send off to your subject line, uh, where your replies will go. You can obviously set up tracking as well. Um, but this, what it is, I'll show you in a minute. This basically tracks out where those links, what we set for the logo and the image. We'll be able to see how many people click on, on certain icons and images in the email and track out how, how well it performs. Um, and then, yep, you're going to want to go from there. And then obviously you can click schedule and then schedule it for a certain time so it is 20 to 10 now so we wouldn't send out an email campaign at this time let's say it was the black friday we would choose obviously the friday and then we might choose for, for the morning so to get in there first maybe um, so maybe 8 a.m. just before someone goes to work might be good but what you have to think about is obviously uh, say for, for a big day like black friday they're going to get tons of emails i know i got tons of emails on black friday happened so what you're going to want to do is maybe wait till people get home from work so if we go with maybe 4 45 p.m. at British time so people get home from work generally about five o'clock just after five so if your emails come in just before or around that time that's perfect yours is going to get looked at first rather than the ones obviously that were sent out in the morning and throughout the day so that's quite good um, and obviously generally, generally people at work especially if it's an e-commerce campaign you're doing people are not really going to buy stuff at work they usually wait till they get home later on to have a good look um, so yeah I'd recommend if, if it's an e-commerce campaign do it in the do it in the evening um, and yeah that's pretty much simple so once you've done that then you're going to want to obviously schedule the campaign we're not because obviously this is not a real campaign um, but yeah you would just go schedule the campaign if you wanted to send it instantly when we were creating a campaign you would have got click the send button that was down here instead of schedule um, now if you want to see what your email looks like you can go pre preview and test and enter preview mode and this will show you exactly how it looks so that's how it looks on a desktop this is how it looks on a mobile and then this is how it looks you can basically test up and you can see how it's going to look in certain email clients for example how it shows up in Gmail how it shows in Apple Mail uh, but this gets a little bit advanced so as long as you check out the desktop and the mobile you should be pretty much good to go so we'll click X here you can set, set, send yourself a test email if you want to see how it looks in your browser so we could just send an email to me and then we can have a quick look how it looks but we don't need to so all looks good so yeah you'd either schedule it and then press schedule campaign or you just send it we're just gonna send an exit I'm going to go back to the campaigns now, so we'll just get rid of that campaign here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how well the stats work. So a lot of people don't seem to convert very well from email marketing, um, but if you've got a nice, nice, real, legitimate list of customers and email subscribers then you should be good to go like you say Angelo gave me his legit customers of around 500 um, before we started these ones have obviously come from that, that email box so we generally send send each campaign out twice a little bit earlier for the people that subscribe directly on the website and these ones are for customers um, you can see we're getting fantastic open rates here and really really good click rates um, now obviously it's dependent on your business you know if you're in the restaurant not everyone is going to want to click on all these offers and you know vouchers and deals because people might be doing eating somewhere else at home whenever um, so you can't expect a fantastic click-through rate um, but generally open rates should be fairly high as long as it's a legitimate customer base um, but obviously you just you just got to make it nice and interesting and very simple and I'll get your click rates up so we're going to show you how well this one performs so we got 620 subscribers in here and you can see that we had nearly a 30% open rate um, the industry average for an education and training is 11% so so we're doing very well um, this shows our average rate over all of our campaigns um, for our list so that's really good uh, you can see the industry average for a education and training campaign is 1% click-through rate and we got in nine just over nine so that's really good so um, for those of you who have never used obviously MailChimp before this loads of options this is your full report it shows you can obviously view the email you can download print share um, if you integrate e-commerce into it for example you sell actual products into it you can track revenue um, in clicks but that's for really advanced e-commerce integration uh, this shows how many people opened it so out of 
out of 618 successful deliveries, so 99.7%, so that's really good. We had 184 people open it, 56 people clicked, and two email addresses bounced off. That could be whether they had a, you get a thing called hard bounce or soft bounce. Hard bounce is basically that email account it doesn't exist anymore typically, and a soft bounce is usually their email box is full up. Um, or they don't use it anymore, or there's a couple of various various simple reasons um, for that, or that they could be having hosting problems. Um, so yeah, so total opens. So this shows how many times the actual email has been opened. This could be again, so it could be the same customer that's opened the email t two times, three times. Uh, so we've had nearly, nearly 400 times. Um, Tajima when it's last opened, people forwarded it as well. Clicks per unique opens, so 30%, so that's really good, and we've had 77 clicks so far. Um, and obviously that, this e complete email campaign generated uh, around £466, so that's, and that's just on the just on the actual Black Friday day, so it's obviously helped out with the whole of the Cyber Monday and Black Friday weekend. Um, so let's have a look now. This obviously just shows out your 24-hour performance, so you can see kind of, so we sent out quite early in the morning and that's where most of the clicks come and then it kind of stagnated throughout the day and then this shows your links clicked so we can see most people clicked obviously the main image a couple of people clicked the logo and then four people clicked the Facebook link none for the YouTube and the Instagram so obviously this is really really fantastic stuff really fantastic stats you can see that obviously we had four people went to the Facebook page and then this all helps with bringing more people onto your social media um, this is obviously great because maybe out of the four people maybe two of them like the page that's another two customers that, that should always see our Facebook page posts so that's really cool stuff um, but yeah this is this really good stats this obviously shows you who actually has opened up the subscribers so obviously you can see these ones here um, are good customers um, and then yeah this down here just shows your locations so where people click so he gets a lot of sales from the USA and then the UK um, obviously he travels the globe when he does martial arts so a lot of it's from the USA um, but obviously there are there's quite a bit from the UK and Germany and local areas as well so that's really good so you can kind of find out where, where all your customers are um, and that's all that is all really you need to see um, I'm going to show you up some reports of our this so this one here was the one day only 25% off for Halloween I'm going to show you how effective this was on the reports so let's go down here and find it so the, we've done the 25% off Halloween special let's go view report and there you can see we had about 515 total opens um, or 228 unique opens, 84 unique clicks, 104 clicks. Uh, and this this generated just this one email, which I'll show you what the email looks like. Let's have a look now. This is what it looked like. This is what we sent out. Same thing, text, uh, your subject line, your view email, your logo, your main block, shop, and your social media links. This simple email campaign generated just under 1100 pounds worth of sales in one day from a website that was making no sales before we launched the new site so it just goes to show that email marketing is extremely effective now I've written up an uh, article on our website called is email marketing effective feel free to go and check that out it just goes through the reports a little bit more in depth um, showing you kind of the email campaigns and things like that so go and have a read of that if you want to get more in depth of it uh, the link will be in the description to download the PSD file. So, yep, you can download that. And then those of you that got Photoshop, you can obviously open that up and then uh, just edit it, basically, just to design your own email content. Um, yep, sign up to MailChimp. Start up, follow, the, obviously, this tutorial to create your own email campaign. And you should be pretty damn successful. Uh, if you haven't got Photoshop, then just find a free PSD opener. Or if not, obviously, get in touch with us. Get in touch with me, and I'll be, I'll be glad. I will gladly design up your email image uh, and help you out with your email campaigns as well so that'll be brilliant um, but like I say thanks for watching guys I hope this tutorial has been great uh, and if it's been helpful just drop a like subscribe and I'll see you on the next one cheers guys